Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, those of you that are opting outside on Black Friday, we're going to be looking at some showers. We're going to be looking at, you know, uh, some tricky weather here and there with some rain showers, potentially some snowfall. But tomorrow it works out great that Thanksgiving is probably going to be our nicest day of the seven day forecast. We're starting off with another chilly morning. Temperatures are dropping into the 20s in some places already this evening and our afternoon highs will be in the lower 50s for Thanksgiving. It's going to be a really nice day. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and uh, hope you all have a great uh, time with family and friends tomorrow. It's going to be a great day to also go outside. We're going to stick with the dry conditions that we have across Northeast and that'll be the case for tomorrow. We're seeing a mixture of thin high clouds and clear skies with the high pressure over the East Coast. Our next frontal boundary will be coming our way for Friday. That's going to give us some rain showers. We can bet on that. We're seeing those showers that are very slowly moving across the Midwest right now and then we'll get a day off on Saturday before some more rain and snow is going to be possible for the end of the weekend. New Haven looking at that nice big moon right now. 34 degrees to go with calm winds, those clear skies, and also the exceptionally dry air is going to allow our temperatures to go down quite a bit. We're looking at lower 20s across the state later on tonight. We got 30s still up in the Litchfield Hills. Otherwise, we're seeing some mid 30s across the shoreline and look at those 20s, Willimantic and Putnam right now. Here's a look at one model projection for the stuff that's going on Sunday into Monday. And yeah, it could be our first accumulating snowfall event across the entire state. This is a look at 2 p.m. We're seeing mix and we're going to be straddling that rain snow line Sunday night into Monday morning, getting quite breezy between that that uh, as the system comes through Sunday into Monday and then look at 1 p.m. on Monday. We just got snow across the entire state as we get those cold north winds to back up that snow. So we're not looking at rain at this point, but probably snow at this point. The question is, how much do we actually stick to the surfaces? Uh, how much rain did we see? How how warm was it before the snow comes through? So those are going to be a lot of question marks for our actual snowfall amount. Here's a look at another uh, snow model through Sunday. We're going to be looking at that rain snow line again right on the I-84 corridor. This model is lining up very closely to what the model I just showed you uh, into Monday afternoon expecting snow to be spreading across most of the state. Again, a couple of models here to show you what could be going on. So through Monday evening, we could be looking at accumulating snow across most places on or north of the I-84 corridor. And another look at this model, probably not seeing too much across the shoreline, especially with this scenario where we have roads that are probably above freezing. And as the snow comes on, we see some melting. But nonetheless, we could be be looking at stuff sticking to the vegetation and as well on the roads and the highways uh, if we get more than an inch by the time we get to Monday afternoon. Wind speeds right now are calm across the entire state. Low temperatures for tonight. Teens possible up in the Litchfield Hills. Otherwise, we're all sharing those 20s and we'll see those temperatures getting into the 40s and 50s and we'll call it a bit mild for tomorrow. But then the rest of the forecast it's chilly, especially with some rain showers. So, you know, you got the rain in the 40s on Friday. So that's uh, that's not feeling too great. It's going to be windy as well Friday, Saturday. And then on Sunday we get we're starting off the day dry and then potentially those snow showers leading into Monday, windy on Monday and Tuesday, and you won't see any more 50s after Thanksgiving. So hopefully everyone is able to get out there and enjoy the mild weather for tomorrow before we start to get into the wet weather and cooler weather on Friday. All right, Connor, thank you very much. Some last minute.